It's only been a few months since launch and Super Mario Maker 2 is already loaded with difficult levels. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're carrying down our picks for the top 10 hard levels in Super Mario Maker 2. For this list, we're looking at the most difficult and infuriating levels created by the Mario Maker 2 community. To keep things fair, we are limiting our choices to one level per creator. And I'm gonna try beating as many of them myself. Joy-Cons, don't go drifting on me now! Number 10, TMNT The Dam by Thomas. Craving for some levels that tap into your nostalgia? Or are you just a masochist? Either way, gluttons for punishment and fans of retro games will be happy to see the infamous dam level from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles NES game. Much like its original counterpart, the dam demands careful navigation through its claustrophobic corridors as you try and find and destroy all the bombs. It took me more than 30 tries to finally beat this level, and destroying the bomb bombs wasn't the worst part. Remember the electrified seaweed? Yeah, that's back, and it's covered in spikes and fire pillars. Yeah. Number 9, Companion Spring 3D by Robert Ross, aka Ross O'Donovan. Oh, no. Longtime Game Grumps member Ross O'Donovan has been working hard creating courses with his sadistic sense of humour and wit. One of his first levels in Mario Maker 2 was a sequel to one of his well-known series. Companion Spring 3D tasks players with using the spring to navigate the course while also avoiding hot chops. To make the course more of a hassle, Ross included two boss fight with Charvars, as well as cannons that shoot more hot chops. If you aren't manned up Ross after playing this, you might want to check out his Steam compilation. It's fascinating to see his thought process behind this. Plus you get to see him and Gerard the Completionist suffer through his own creation. Oh, no. Number 8. Super Meat Boy Forever by Andre GX aka Andre Seegers. Were you a fan of the Super Meat Boy level in the Super Mario Maker 1 by Andre Seegers of Game Explain, based on the indie game of the same name? Well, you'll be happy to know that Seegers has gone and created a sequel level to its upcoming sequel, Super Meat Boy Forever. As one would expect, the level is loaded with saw blades. There are several areas where you have to slow your fall with twirls and dash through openings before the blades close in. Hope your timing and wall jumping skills are up to par because if you're a little rusty, expect to be here for quite some time. I sure was. Oh, no. Number 7, Blade Runner Mario's Escape by Screen Dude. Despite what the title may suggest, this level is not a spin-off or crossover with the cult science fiction franchise. Instead, the level takes its name quite literally. A train of saw blades will follow you as you trigger on and off blocks, spin jump across thwomps, and ride snake blocks to avoid a fiery end. This is a course that will test your skill against many of the new mechanics in Super Mario Maker 2. It may not be as frantic or chaotic as the other entries, but sometimes it's nice to be able to progress things at a more reasonable pace. Number 6. Tight Boys Take Their Time by Fasciane, aka Alex Fasciane. The good news is that this level is rather short, but don't let its length fool you, because as the tale suggests, you need to have crazy patience for this one. Created by Alex Fasciane of the Dex and Super Beer Bros, this stage is all about careful movement as you clear super tight jumps with perfect precision, and pass through super tight corridors with spikes on the other side. However, since the spike trap hitboxes are crazy sensitive, you need to approach each drop with extreme caution. It proved so difficult for Alex that he couldn't beat his own stage to upload it. Instead, it was our own Jess Adele who had to clear it for him after a few hours of trying. Number 
Number five, Beetle Shell Spin Up by Stank. Any Mario Maker player and creator knows that spin jumps are not the same as regular jumps. Spin jumps are shorter, but they allow you to jump on certain hazards, but you'll lose a bit of control in the process. So imagine having to spin jump through an entire level. That's not all. One of the earliest obstacles requires players to go through a door with the only platform to stand on being a fast moving P switch on rails. This took me so many times to get right. Things get even more nerve wracking when you reach the second half of the level as you need to navigate through gaps in saw blade traps. Somehow I managed to beat this one. Holy crap, I don't know how. Number four, POW Athletic by Kita-san. Love the sound of that POW block? Well, you might end up hitting it after playing through POW Athletic. This course requires you to be extremely precise of where and when you trigger plow blocks. One flubbed move means you won't finish in time, or you'll just die. With thwomps and munches around every corner, you'll have to sharpen your reflexes if you want to beat this course, especially when most of your jumps need to be timed with on-off blocks. All of which is under a 30 second time limit. Number 3, One One with a Twist by YT Sunny. With a twist my plumber butt, this is insane! YT Sunny returns from our previous list on hard Mario Maker levels and one of his first levels became a trending topic on Twitter. While it is a perfect recreation of the famous 1-1, Sunny has gone and littered the course with massive fire bars. It's absolute madness. Timing is absolutely critical, as even the slightest hesitation will result in death. Literally the only way you can beat this level is to watch his video of him playing it before you can actually do it yourself. Otherwise you are going to have one hell of a bad time. Number 2, Lethal Ejection by Dan Salvato. Does that name sound familiar to you? Well that's because this level is coming from the creator of Doki Doki Literature Club, Dan Salvato. He's already had Disturbing Storyteller on his resume. Now we can chalk up Hellish Developer 2 and it's all thanks to Lethal Ejection. To conquer this course, you'll have to trigger on and off blocks while positioning Mario at just the right angle to launch him in the air. A maneuver that requires very precise timing. There are no checkpoints, no platforms to give you a breather, and very little time to react. Good luck, you're gonna need it. This level is so hard that it literally reads as 0.00% because the ratio is way too low to be rounded up to 1. Not quite there yet. Almost though. Just be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Alright, back to the countdown. Number 1. Pitta Panga Divine Garden by Pangia Panga. <laughs> Super Mario Maker 2 has only been out for a few months, and yet the notorious Pangaea Panga has already unleashed an onslaught of courses from our worst nightmares. Super Skyzo and Panga Times might want us to pull our hair out, but we have to give Divine Garden the top spot. If you want to conquer this course, you'll have to wall jump off thwomps, be cautious of on off spike blocks, and juggle boxes while maintaining control of your momentum. There's a lot you'll have to process here, and Divine Garden might be Panga's hardest level yet. He welcomed us to hell and we're left traumatized. Oh, no. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. 